The phyllosilicate or sheet silicate minerals can be considered inorganic polymers based on two basic monomer structures. One is the silica tetrahedron, which links, sharing an oxygen atom, at three of its four corners to form a layer of linked rings with hexagonal openings. In most cases, the fourth or apical oxygen of each tetrahedron is pointed in the same direction. The other monomer is the octahedron formed by aluminum hydroxide or magnesium hydroxide. The phyllosilicates contain a continuous octahedral layer with the joined octahedra tilted on a triangular side. When the predominant octahedral cation is Al3+, charge balancing within the clay lattice requires that only two of every three octahedral positions be filled, and the clay is described as dioctahedral. If Mg2 plus predominates, all octahedral positions must be filled for charge balancing, and the clay is called trioctahedral. The phyllosilicates and related minerals can be pictured as the joining of an octahedral layer to one or two tetrahedral layers via shared apical oxygens. While sharing these common structural features, the phyllosilicates and related minerals are differentiated by substitutions within the basic lattice configurations. This depends on how well a metal ion will fit among close-packed oxygen ions. This is largely a matter of relative ionic radii. The preferred or most stable coordination of metal cations common in silicate minerals has been calculated and expressed in terms of ionic radius ratio. Tetrahedral or fourfold coordination is theoretically preferred when the radius ratio of metal cation to oxygen ion is in the range of 0 0.225 to 0 0.414. For octahedral or sixfold coordination, this range is 0 0.414 to 0 0.732. In nature, these ranges overlap to some extent and the mineral lattice will distort to a limited degree to accommodate ions that are not a perfect fit. Aluminum, for example, is found in both tetrahedral and octahedral coordination. This table relates the atomic radii of metals commonly found in silicate minerals to their coordination number. Whether predominantly in aluminum silicate or magnesium silicate, these minerals can and will incorporate other metals that will fit and are available during formation or transformation. Other metal cations may find a reasonably comfortable home in lattice positions that otherwise would be held by aluminum, magnesium, or silicon. In the phyllosilicates and related minerals that are used in industry, it is typically lower valence metal cations that are taking the place of higher valence cations. This results in negatively charged sites and an overall negative charge on the mineral lattice. This charge must be balanced, and in nature this is usually done by sodium, potassium, calcium, or magnesium ion. The most common structurally related dioctahedral phyllosilicates are kaolinite, haloisite, porophyllite, montmorillonite, and muscovite mica. The prototypical 1,1 dioctahedral silicate is kaolinite. The continuous sheet structure produces thin particles which exist in nature as overlapping flakes. These can occur as books which under magnification resemble stacks of paper. Kaolin crystals are bound via hydrogen bonding of the octahedral layer hydroxyl face of one plate to the tetrahedral layer oxygen face of the adjacent plate. Separation into individual clay plates is therefore difficult, but is accomplished by mechanical means to produce the laminated kaolin. A tetrahedral sheet and octahedral sheet are actually very slightly mismatched. This mismatch induces curvature in the structure in order to enable the oxygen sharing. The kaolinite tetrahedral sheet is rotated slightly for better oxygen sharing and the tendency to curve is inhibited by the hydrogen bonding between kaolinite sheets. When the kaolin crystal structure forms in an environment that allows it to remain hydrated, that is to retain a layer of water between the crystals, the curvature induced by the slight tetrahedral octahedral mismatch is not inhibited. The result is haloisite, also known as endolite in Europe, which forms with a hydrated kaolin-like structure and exists typically as rolled tubes. Mica minerals occur with both trioctahedral and dioctahedral structures, but the latter form is more common. 
In either case, there is some replacement of OH- with F- and about one of four tetrahedral SI4+, is replaced by AL3+. The resulting charge imbalance is compensated most often by potassium ion located central to the opposing hexagonal openings in the silica sheets of adjacent platelets. Micas do not readily hydrate, that is, incorporate water between the plates, or allow cation exchange due mainly to the nature of the potassium counterion. Potassium ions do not form hydration shells with water, as do sodium, calcium, and magnesium ions. Potassium ion instead coordinates to the surface oxygens of opposing tetrahedral layers, making them difficult to dislodge and the lamination more difficult. The perophyllite structure can be visualized as kaolin with a continuous layer of silica rings added to the free alumina side. The opposing tetrahedral layers mutually compensate for the tendency toward curvature, so perophyllite crystals are planar. Because both mineral faces are composed of oxygens, adjoining perophyllite plates are bound by relatively weak van der Waals forces. They will therefore delaminate much more readily than kaolinite. Pure perophyllite is accordingly soft with talc-like slipperiness because individual flakes can slide past each other or separate fairly easily. Smectite clays are differentiated from similar phyllosilicates by their ability to hydrate, that is, absorb water between plates, to a much greater degree. Montmorillonite, the most common smectite, has limited substitution of octahedral Al3 plus with Mg2 plus and very minor substitution of tetrahedral Si4 plus by Al3 plus. This gives the lattice a net negative charge. Because the charge arises primarily from the octahedral layer, it is relatively weak. This is balanced by exchangeable cations, either mostly sodium or calcium, between the clay plates. Tightly held oriented water also occupies the space between individual plates. In the dry state, that is absent externally adsorbed water, monovalent exchange cations are typically accompanied by a single water layer, divalent cations by two layers. The weaker, octahedral layer derived charge allows montmorillonite to incorporate more interplate water than can the minerals of similar structure. When sodium is the primary counter ion and the clay is mixed with water, its diffusion from the interlayer water as additional water enters by osmosis enables complete delamination. Nanoclays are made by substituting cationic surfactants, typically fatty quaternary ammonium compounds for exchangeable sodium. The structurally related common trioctahedral phyllosilicates are antigorite, chrysotile, and talc. A magnesium-based analog of kaolin is the serpentine mineral antigorite. The antigorite sheet structure does not directly correspond to that of kaolinite, however, because the trioctahedral layer is an even poorer fit for the silica sheet. This mismatch is compensated by stretching of the apical silica oxygens so that they can form the common oxygen link. This results in structure bending. Antigorite crystals are platy because the tetrahedral silica layer remains continuous, but only by periodically rotating 180 degrees. This, however, prevents continuity of the octahedral layer. The face of an antigorite platelet is therefore corrugated. When both the octahedral and tetrahedral sheets are continuous, that is, no inversion of the silica layer, the octahedral-tetrahedral mismatch causes a continuous bending into long tubes. This results in the asbestos mineral chrysotile. If a sheet of silica rings is attached to the magnesia side of the 1-1 triactahedral structure, the bending tendencies on either side of the octahedral layer are balanced. The mineral structure remains planar and talc results. Individual talc plates are held together by weak van der Waals forces. Sliding and delamination are fairly easy, giving talc its characteristic soft, slippery feel. Velastinite is characterized by a repeating, twisted, three silica tetrahedra unit. The chains formed by these silica tetrahedra grow in two dimensions and are connected by calcium and octahedral coordination. The chain structure and high tetrahedra density accounts for the typical needle-shaped crystals and relatively high hardness. 
In North America, typical nepheline cyanide consists of approximately 25% nepheline, 55% sodium feldspar, and 20% potassium feldspar. Feldspar mineral structures are based on densely packed four-member rings of silica tetrahedra forming hexagonal and polygonal voids. The dense packing makes feldspars nearly as hard as quartz. Typically, Al3 plus replaces one of every four Si4 plus. The resulting charge imbalance is compensated by sodium and or potassium ions. Nepheline shares the feldspar structure, except that Al3 plus replaces half the Si4 plus. Unlike feldspars, the sodium ion can be exchanged with hydrogen ion, making nepheline less acid stable. Nepheline will gelatinize in HCl, while feldspars will not. Common non-silicate fillers are silica or quartz, calcium carbonate, and barite. Quartz is a densely packed arrangement of silica rings, although with characteristic tetrahedra conformations, unlike the silica rings of phyllosilicates. That means that the apical oxygens are not all pointed in the same direction. Extended in three dimensions, this structure provides the characteristic hardness and inertness of quartz. The configuration of calcium carbonate is often compared to the structure of halite, sodium chloride, with the triangular carbonate groups in place of the chlorine and calcium in place of sodium. The basic structural unit of sulfate minerals is the sulfate tetrahedron, in the case of barite, coordinated with barium ion.